Hi friends, welcome to Nandini Arvind's gallery. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this stunning and colorful seahorse using glass paints. Let's look at the materials required for this painting. Ruler, pencil eraser, camel metallic silver glass liner, mandala dot art tool and synthetic hair brush. This is a round brush of size 6 and the next is a round brush of size 2. Then we need toothpick, earbud and safety pins, glass cleaning solution and tissues to clean the OHP sheet and then masking tape and glass marking pencils. Now I have already drawn the pencil outline on a paper and had placed A4 size OHP sheet over it. I am going to quickly mark the margins using glass marking pencil and then securing the corners using masking tape. And now I am cleaning the surface with glass cleaning solution and tissue paper. Now let's begin to transfer the design onto OHP sheet. While lining, make sure to apply constant pressure and work slowly to get an uniform flow. Also start to line from one corner to another or from top to bottom. Wipe the nozzle of the liner then and there to get perfect outline. I am going to complete the lining part in the same way. And I have let it dry for at least one hour before starting using colors. For colors, I will be using sapphire glass stains in opaque white and various shades of pinks and blues. The next set of colors I'll be using are from Camel brand solvent based glass colors in the shade yellow, red, blues and greens. And also I'll be using silver glitter from Sapphire glass tin. I'll be using lavender, pink, rose, skin and white to paint the seahorse. I'm going to create a gradient look for the seahorse. So I'm going to paint the left corner with just lavender and pink Now my left portion is completed and I'm moving on to the center portion where I'm going to use pink and rose since the portion to paint is very small, I am using brush to apply the paint and spread the colors. I am also using mandala dot art tool to mix the colors. Now when my center portion gets completed, I am moving on to the right corner where I will be using skin and white color. This leaves a gradient look from purple pink to skin color. Next I am adding drops of silver glitter to the fins part and later adding lavender color to get the glitterish lavender finish. I am repeating the same for the other fins portion as well. For head portion, I am using rose and mixing with few drops of lavender. For the other seahorse, I am planning a similar gradient with golden yellow, pink and peach. And first I am using golden yellow and peach for the left corner all the way from top to bottom.
and then for the center portion I am mixing golden yellow with pink. And finally I am using skin and white color to the right corners. For the head portion I am using golden yellow with few drops of pink. My seahorse coloring part is almost getting completed now. Next I am moving on to coloring the leaves behind. For that I am going to use sapphire glass stains color in the shades blue, olive green and lemon yellow. I am also using camel blue and different shades of green. I am just randomly applying colors in leaves portion. First I am mixing lemon yellow and blue to get green. You can explore coloring with your own ideas. Then I have used turquoise blue, sky blue, horizon blue to give color gradient for the leaves. I am also adding a little of pink and purple here and there. And finally I am finishing off with greens. I am using olive green from sapphire and also moss green and lime green from camel. Now I am allowing the paints to dry completely for 4 to 6 hours. And then later starting to reline the silver portion to enhance the liner part. I am also lining the space between the boxes in seahorse to highlight it. I am adding few more details in the leaves portion and also in the background. I let the liner again to dry completely. I just wanted to highlight the work by adding few more details in the background. So here is the pearl blue acrylic color from the brand Fevicryl. Here I am just dabbing the blue color using sponge on the back side of the sheet, only on the leftover background space. When this portion gets dried, it leaves a metallic finish on the front side. All the materials used in this painting are given in the description box down below. I have also added few links from where you can buy these materials. Here I am wiping out the excess color with earbud and tissue paper to get a perfect finish. This should be dried for at least 15 minutes before turning the sheet. So this is the final outcome of the seahorse. I am so happy with this end result. If you like this video, please do share with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel.